So we are now on the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. In the last chapter, Krishna was talking about stay away from more, uh, more stay away from the sense-oriented pleasures or sense-oriented action, and engage more into actions coming from sacrifices and action and offering the actions to Him and doing your duty based on your nature. And in this chapter, He talks about uh, uh, what is the right action, what are these different sacrifices. But then he talks about knowledge, the right knowledge, the understanding of the truth. And he talks about uh, this as a permanent solution for your predicament. Right? So, the first verse, the, the first interesting verse for me uh, was uh, the Krishna is telling, look Arjuna, these action does not affect me, nor I care about the fruit of these actions. The person who knows this about me does not get trapped by the fruit of these actions. Right? So he's talking about this uh, state of awareness. In this state, I do not really create any action, nor I, nor these different fruits of action affects me. And I found it very interesting. And then he talks about, see, even very wise people are confused about what is the right action, what is the wrong action, and what is the inaction. Right? And then he goes on and he gives some example of what is the right action. So he talks about uh, the person whose actions are free from selfish desire. That person is considered established in the knowledge. And that person is also considered saint. The person who has uh, uh, let go of all the desire for fruits of his action and who is always content and independent and that person even if you do any kind of action he doesn't get bounded in the, in the physical world right? and then he talks about the person who has the completely controlled mind and intellect and the person and that person who has left the, uh, the ownership from the action that person also doesn't get bound in the uh, in the world and again, he talks about the person who is happy with whatever he is receiving naturally um, and the person who is free from these uh, pairs of opposites like pain and pleasure, winning and losing. That kind of a person, uh, while he is acting, again, does not get trapped into the fruits of action. And then he also talks about the person who is free from these uh, uh, attachment to these uh, uh, properties of nature, tamas, rajas and sattva and who is established completely in the knowledge is also free when he is acting he doesn't get bounded he doesn't create uh, uh, these um, these karmas which are like repetitive and then he talks about the different sacrifices people do some people do self study some people do very strong austerity austerity uh, some people do some kind of a very strong fasting um, the sacrifice of knowledge uh, pranayama, many different sacrifices, and because people know what they, what these sacrifices do, uh, these sacrifices brings very sweet fruits, and these fruits are useful in uh, your journey for self knowledge. And then he mentions like uh, uh, sacrifice of material is much, uh, the knowledge is much superior than sacrifice of these materials, right? Because fundamentally all actions finally dissolve in knowledge very interesting and then he recommend you should find somebody who is uh, the knower of the truth and you should uh, uh, um, service you should give your service to him and try to receive this knowledge from him a person who has seen the truth by himself and that uh, once and once you realize truth by yourself you won't get deluded in this, uh, you won't get deluded and get ignorant again. And this uh, knowledge has, this knowledge of truth has uh, the same effect as, uh, you know, the fire has on a substance. It just burns away all your impurities uh, once you, uh, once you uh, have attained that knowledge. Then he further goes on and say, the person who has faith and the person whose uh, senses are under his control, uh, once this person received this knowledge, he quickly found the peace in himself. On the other hand, the person who is ignorant and doubtful, uh, 
and whose uh, senses are not his, under his control, for that person, there is no happiness in this world or in any other world. Right? So finally, we recommend let go of any attachment to the fruits of your action and uh, cut the doubts with the knowledge, with the sword of knowledge, and realize who you are and go for the self realization and finally go and fight. And that this is in the context of Arjuna since he is in the battlefield and he ultimately has to fight.